Hi, welcome to 5-Minute Bible, where I try my absolute best to give short scripture lessons in five minutes or less. Um, we have been talking about Psalm 23, which, which is an excellent book to teach us really the basics of our faith in Christianity. And we've been on verse 4. This is our third week, so we will be finishing it today. As we, we have talked about, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. And today we're going to finish up with, for they rod and they staff, they comfort me. And before I go into that particular verse, I want to talk to you about these crazy times we're living in. For myself, personally, uh, the last several months have been quite a struggle. Because my personality and the way that I am, I know there is one truth. So all of this conflicting information everywhere you look has been very difficult for me to process. Do you wear a mask? Do you not wear a mask? Um, covert raids are terrible. Oh no, they're exaggerating. All this conflicting information. Um, you, you could read two different articles about the same event, say a demonstration about the same event, and one article is going to say make it seem like this beautiful, loving event, and then another article is going to make it seem it was terrible, and it's really hard to know what the truth is, and that was very difficult for me, and it frankly was contributing to a depression for me, because I felt, what can you rely on? What can you, what can you trust in? Because frankly, there's nothing out there online that I trust in at all, re regardless of the source. And as I was praying about it, that's when the Holy Spirit reminded me, when the Lord spoke to me and he said, you can always trust in me. And I was like, yes, I can. You know, the Lord is my shepherd and my shepherd is the rock that is higher than I. My shepherd does not change. His truth is always valid. No matter what is going on, he is unchanging and he is eternal. And even though the world may not give me anything and reliable, I can rely on him. And what an improvement that made in my outlook because I realized the solution is always in the Lord. It says, humble yourselves for the sake of another person. Look out for their own interests as more important than your own. So what does that mean? Even though I don't like wearing masks, if it makes that 70-year-old in the grocery store feel better, I'll put one on. It says, treat your neighbor as you want to be treated. You want to know about racial injustice and how to treat others? Treat them as you yourself want to be treated. Also, remember that everyone was made in the image of God. Everyone has value and importance because of that. So there is always truth in his word, which is what these verse, this part of this verse means to me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Our comfort is in the world, in the word, not the world, in the word. No matter what else is going on, we can take comfort in him. Now, the rod and the staff literally were, a shepherd actually had two, um, a rod and a staff. They're not the same thing. So the rod was shorter, kind of like a bat, and it was used to fight off predators and also just kind of nudge the sheep. When they were starting to wander off, it would nudge the sheep back in line, whereas the staff had the hook on the end, and if a sheep was really headed off in the wrong direction, you could hit him with that crook and literally pull him back into line. So the rod and the staff, they comfort me. Well, what are the rod and the staff for us as believers? They are the Bible and the Holy Spirit. The Bible shows us which way to go. And the Holy Spirit that we talked about last week that is within us gives us real time information. As it says in John chapter 16, verses 13 and 14, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak his own, but will tell you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. He will bring me glory by telling you whatever he receives from me. So the Holy Spirit is within us, telling us what the Father is saying, telling us what Jesus is saying. The Holy Spirit is guiding us and protecting us about things that may not be exactly in the word. You can't find in the Bible whether that is the right job for you, but the Holy Spirit can tell you. The Holy Spirit also puts that crook around our neck when we are walking into sin. 
So that is our comfort, God's written word and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you next week when we finally move on to verse 5.